Hello, welcome back to a brand new video and today it was the biggest game of the season. Celtic against Rangers. Uh, I feel like before the game, both sides went out with their strongest uh, 11s available to them. Rangers went with Aribo, Davis and Kamara in the middle and Celtic get that diamond in the middle with Turnbull and Sorrow uh, retaining their positions alongside Christie and McGregor. Uh, but I thought it was interesting before the game when I seen the lineups because I thought the fact that Celtic were playing a diamond meant that they were going to sacrifice the wide areas and it would allow Rangers fullbacks to get into the game a lot, uh, which I thought would have been dangerous. But it never started the way I suspected at all. Celtic were totally in control of the game. Uh, they had a chance through Edward and then Griffiths had a shot as well. And just before that, Morelos can count himself lucky, I think, to still be on the pitch. Had we had VAR in Scotland, which I know a lot of you don't want, I don't think Morelos would have been on the park. I think he stands on for Tim Pong's ankle and he's very, very lucky. But no, Celtic definitely start the better than the two teams. Uh, the only player for Rangers that looked really any threat was Ryan Kent. He committed players a couple of times and um, was running at Celtic. There was one that was pulled across goal that Rangers just couldn't get anyone on the end of. But no, again, after that, it was Celtic that created the best chance. The ball falls to Griffiths outside the edge of the box, and he curls one, and McGregor pulls off a fantastic save. We all know what Alan McGregor's capable of, he's been doing it for years. And even at his age, I think he's nearly 40 now, and he still manages to save Rangers. Um, I thought he was the best player on the pitch for them today. The um, and it was interesting, second half, to see what Rangers were going to do. They took off Kmart Roof and they brought on and it's hard to, but I still thought that um, Celtic were the better team at the start of the second half. They were getting on the ball, getting into more dangerous areas of the pitch and they weren't really creating, but if anybody was going to score, uh, I definitely thought it would have been Celtic. But no, the game totally flipped midway through the second half. It was a ball into the channel. Morelos was running on it. It was going to be one-on-one, -on -one, but he's hauled down by Beaton and... Um, I seen Christopher Eyre at the end of the game mouthing to the, uh, the fourth official when they were walking off the pitch that it was never the red card. For me, I think when Eyre looks at it back, you'll see that it was a stone wall red card. I don't think he's getting a crossing tight. Uh, I think Maria was is going in one on one. And the rule states that if you don't attempt to play the ball and you're the last man, then it's a red card. So for me, I think Bobby Madden gets it spot on. And that completely flips the game because Celtic then need to make a couple of changes. They took Turnbull off and they took Griffiths off as well. Um, and that allowed uh, Rangers to get their fullbacks further up the pitch after that because Celtic were then forced to sit a bit deeper, uh, even even when Celtic had 10 men. I still don't think Rangers created much, but the, and the goal was even a bit alert. That came for a corner kick. It was whipped in and Aribos headed it off the shoulder of McGregor and it just goes into the bottom, she goes into the bottom corner and they find themselves 1-0 up and from then it's mission impossible for Celtic. Uh, it was said before the game that they had to win today, I think they did um, and they would have had to have thrown everything at it for that. They had a shot for El Yunusi. there was one towards the end where El Yunusi just couldn't play an Edward and they maybe would have found themselves an equaliser but Aye, Rangers ran out 1-0 winners. I think Celtic can count themselves unlucky to have got beaten today because I, I certainly thought they merited something from the game and if it stayed at RMB 11, I would have made them, as I say, favourites to go on and win it. But for me now, the week's over. I don't see this Rangers side dropping 10 points in the remainder of the season. They've not lost a game in the league yet. Um, and they've only played Celtic in another twice, and apart from the two games, I can't see them losing any, really. Um, I know they go to Pataudry next, Aberdeen's a tough place to go, but Aberdeen aren't even informed themselves, and even Hibs are that in this season, so I think we really need to start asking the question now, can Rangers go the season unbeaten? For me, that's a huge possibility, uh, and I think they're just going to walk uh, to their first title um, since... Uh, I believe 2010, so I, I fancy Rangers for the title big now. Celtic fans, I want to know in the comments, would you would you sack Neil Lennon? Um, because, as I say, I think the week's gone. Do you think it's gone? Uh, would you just twist now, get somebody in, 
make the change and look to build for next season. But no, guys, let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments, and uh, I suppose time will tell whether I'm right or not. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.